there's always going to be expectations by everyone. You know who you are in the locker room, what happens in the locker room. As long as you block out the noise and you just focus on yourselves, you trust yourself and everyone has that same goal in mind, only good things are going to happen. Our chemistry on the court has definitely grown you know, quicker than expected. But at the end of the day, you want to be able to come out on top. One of the things that we did at the beginning of the year, we signed a contract saying we're all in. And uh, if we're all in, then we're going to be all in first 15 games when the energy's there, or we're going to do it game 30, game 40, game 50. We're going to be able to stay locked in and, 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 and go figure it out. A 15-0 Toronto run. And a 22-6 advantage yeah. to the for the Raptors. That's the seven turnover for Sacramento. Keegan Murray, Murray rejected by Barnes. Shot clock down to six. Wow. Just out of control, gets bailed out. Mike Brown. Oh, Mike Whoa. Brown, yeah, he is fired up. He, he's been ejected. Mike knew exactly what he was doing. That was a very tactical way to go about trying to spark some energy and trying to get us to come together, I think, as a team and, and get a win. Jordy came in, did a great job. I think everyone else from that point on, it was it's exactly what Mike wanted to happen as everyone came together. The huddles got a little bit tighter. Nice pocket pass and the big fella throws it down. And then a good break shot. Oh, oh, flex on him. Will he bump? Davis with the block. Off night, trying to make it tough for Van Lee. We just knew we had to come out and keep fighting together. You know, uh, this morning, DC had a, had a great speech. Um, uh, talking to us about no excuses, everything's gonna be hard, you know, and uh, if it's not hard, it's not fun, you know? for a Spanish coach to do it also means a lot to Spanish basketball. Anything that I can do to represent over there and to show people that if you work hard, there's opportunities for everybody. That's the reason why you do a job like this. Defensive player of the game, who's got the chain here? Right here. Siakam, 37% from the field. <laughs> After this game's on the road, what we talked this morning, all right? When somebody doubts you and they may say that you're not as good as you think you are, you know what we said to them? Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck them on three! One, two, three! They went to the defensive player of the game. He, he, got, he got a little bling bling. Anything that rallies a team around uh, something like that, uh, it's exciting. You know, when we handed it out to, to, I think it's been Domas and it's been HB, they've had a lot of swag when they put it on. And literally, uh, they put the chain on Keegan, and, and, and Keegan just stood here like this. And so they were like, have some swag, do something. So Keegan was like, come on over, come on over. <laughs> and he just stood there. So Every time we win a game, there's going to be a defensive player of the game. They're going to get the chain. Uh, and as you saw, we're going to light the chain with the, with the lasers, with the purple lasers. So we can bring, especially on the road, we can bring uh, a little bit of the beam with us. These guys, they work hard every day. They understand defense is a big part of the game. Uh, so coming up with this idea brings us together. We celebrate something. Hey, yeah, she has to sleep with it. Rookie duties. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Can't shake it out. Our head video guy is Chuck Allen. He's fantastic. He's the engine behind all this. He's gonna make our staff go. He ties us all together, especially starting with myself. 
I make sure our scouting reports are organized, our, our video reports are organized, making sure every game we go into, everything is organized for practice, uh, for the shoot around for that game, and making sure that we're going in, knowing exactly what the other team is running and knowing exactly what uh, we're gonna do to attack them and defend them. We wanna figure out how to make it quick, concise, and clear for the players so that they can go out there and feel prepared and confident knowing that we can go win the game. Uh, they're going under on um, on HB's handoff, so if you want to get it lower here, he's going to shoot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have an analytics coach in Robbie Lemons. Robbie uh, is a guy that I hired away from Monty's staff. He played at Stanford, but he has an uh, in-depth background in analytics, so he'll tie analytics at a deep level to what we're doing out on the floor. It's incredible how much information is available now and how far we've come. So much of it is done with the play-by-play -play data and also some of the tracking cameras in the stadium. And so you can tell really nuanced things like driving tendencies, which way a player goes, if they're better pick and rolls on the left side or the right side. We can tell a lot even from how the ball enters the rim, like is your arc or the trajectory in which it goes in to the hoop consistent. It gives you really strong signals and where you can get better. And it's also inarguable, it's hard to hide from what you've done and that'll kind of sh shine through in the data. So I think it keeps coaches and it keeps players honest. You know, this is Fox's team, this is Domus's team. Both those guys are all stars and they're both stepping up huge in a lot of different ways. With the scoring, uh, the leadership, the improved defense this year. Look at me, I'm calling out. Stop everybody, keep calling out. Where was you when I was reaching out? You know, De'Aaron is, is the head of the snake. He's playing on an all-star level. He's doing it offensive end, defensive end, getting guys involved, just, just all over the place, just making plays happen. So best believe you. speed gets him a lot of space because you don't want to step up because he will he will fly right by you but his ability to make mid-range shots you know makes him dynamic too. Darren is an all-star caliber player. You know not just Sabonis can make the all-star I think Darren Fox can make the all-star they might have two all-stars for the first time since what like 2004. Fox swiped my lines but what can I say he's been hitting them with the sauce all season long this guy's an all-star. How are we want to do it, man? Just flow with it. We're fine. We got to be for hours. Yeah, we got to be. We got to be. You just got to be insane. Y'all didn't highlight it. It's not highlighted. Where? One, two, two three. three. Purple, Purple laser beam. beam. That's my That's the easy. That's the easy. Oh shit! That's why I like the beam. That's why I do it in a box. <laughs> I get I get the defensive player of the game now we don't fuck. Yeah! We have a lot of players on this team that haven't won at a high level consistently and we have to understand, no matter who's in front of us, how hard we have to play and how unselfishly we have to play offensively in order to get a win. And Monk turns it over, trying to make an entry pass. And Sabonis looks like he hurt his hand. His right hand is paining him right now. Demonte Sabonis is in a ton of pain right now. Looks like, like that thumb. Thumb. Looks like that right thumb. It'd be huge if he's out. I mean, he's been phenomenal. I mean, he, he, he plays, like I said, he plays so hard every possession, whether it's offensively or defensively. He tries to play the right way. You know, again, it's a shame that uh, he had the game that he had, and we collectively did not show up the right way to at least make this thing competitive. If we think we're going to just show up and go through the motions because of our record is what it is, uh, we're going to be in for a rude awakening. So I'm going to keep telling them the truth, keep showing them film, 
We're going to keep drilling things the right way. Uh, and I'm going to keep demanding them to be better. The associate head coach acting as head coach tonight, Jordy Fernandez, in the absence of Mike Brown, who's out with health and safety protocols. This was a game, especially the first one of this back-to-back. -back. We need to have more energy than them, and came out the right way. And um, you know, the end of that second quarter, we were up 17, and they made a run to cut it, which I thought was huge going into the half. And uh, obviously, they just kind of worked it down the rest of the second half. The beauty of this series is it's almost like a playoff. So you go home, you're not happy, uh, you want to come back and play again. So we're, we're going to be one percent better tomorrow. And, and we're going to, you know, show a fight again. Man, Sabonis is like a drive through window at a fast food spot, man. Just, you want the number three combo? Here it is. You want the number two combo? There it is. Oh, can I supersize your drink? There it is. That's him. Omar spin it back to that strong hand. Come on to Sabonis. As you guys know, he is one of our most important players. He makes us better as a team. Malik. Yes, sir, Malik, good pass. He's just a good player. You know, he does everything well. He passes well, he rebounds well, he shoots the ball well. And, and then his IQ probably separates him. It's funny, whenever we, we talk about bigs and passing, you don't hear his name as much as you should. I got you. I got you. Get out, get out, get out. There we go. I got you, Keegan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I got you. A lot of the passing and chemistry that he's developed with De'Aaron is fantastic, but also the chemistry that he's been able to develop with Kevin Herter. Just smart on both ends of the court. He's obviously a really good passer. A lot of what we do offensively goes through him. I think he had 10 rebounds in the first quarter. Two minute timeout, I think I looked up and he already had 10 and it's just like, here he goes again. A little fine on the inside. I remember playing against him, you know, in the past, and just he's not a guy I think people look forward to going up against. Just his physicality, he's relentless. Glad he's on my team now. Zoom, zoom in right here. Zoom in right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that vein. Oh, that's all this guy. All he does is this probably for his workouts. <laughs> Two hours. Yeah, right. Missed the game. He's like, I'm back. Like, I'll be fine. It's, it's okay. I'll, I'll just figure out how to play with my dislocated thumb. And didn't really miss a beat, whereas I think some other guys in the league would have been like, I'll see you in a couple weeks. If he's not the hardest playing person I've been around in my career, he's got to be in the top three. He's a really good uh, team player, of course. He's molding others. You know, he, he made a couple threes tonight, so that if, if he has that to his game. I mean, he was all-star, but he can, he can go back there. If I can do a better job of pushing the guys home to run, taking it out quicker, or bringing it up myself, um, uh, it definitely helps us. Uh, we're a really good team uh, on the run, and uh, the more we do that, it, it's really tough to stop us. We win it. Having someone of his caliber on the court, it's always a big plus no matter what team you are. So obviously he comes in and everyone feels his presence, both on our team and the other team. Malik and De'Aaron said there was there was something kind of inspirational, you know, to see Domas get out there and go, even though he was playing through pain. Would you agree with that? Elite players like Domas proved today, like that's what they do. It sets up the tone for building the identity that we're trying to build here. If one day you feel like something is hurting, you'll be like, you know what, I'm with him. And then I'm gonna sacrifice myself for the team. We're trying to build something. Uh, we're trying to change the culture and build something special moving forward. We said 1% bad, right? Yeah. I thought it was at least five. 
but we got room for, to improve. We got to do it from the beginning, all right? But great fucking job. Malik, unbelievable off the bench. Trey, great fucking winning play right there on the rebound. Great minutes by everybody. KZ, great fucking defense. We changed the game. We picked up. We, we've been asking for somebody to pick up and be physical. Defensive play out of the game. Fucking beast. Davion. We had the Toronto game. Well, this is the first full game. Hey! Hey! There you go. Good job. Foxy, what you got? Together on three. One, two, three. Together! I thought that playing at home and having the crowd behind you, and when you're really tired, it just helps you to, to be resilient. So Thanks to, to the fans, uh, it was amazing to, to get that energy that we needed. The fans here in Sacramento, it's unbelievable. I mean, the energy that they bring to the building every night. You know, you, you can mistake some of these regular season games for playoff games. Mike Conley steps up to the free throw line, 26.7 seconds of play. Regardless, Conley missed the first foul shot. The deficit is two. Got a good screen from Sabonis. From the elbow. Tipped off. Back out the box. Long game. Short. Loose again. Herter for the lead. This fans are unbelievable, man. Each and every night. Appreciate you guys. I mean, that building went off. Great feeling, obviously. Just keeping that ball alive. You know, it's a will to win just by everybody who's on the court. You know, De'Aaron is one of those elite players in the league. You know, it feels like at the end of the game, he just slows it down and, and he gets to his spots. And all year has, has knocked down shots when we needed him to. On their feet. Fire! What a fourth quarter performance has been for Fox. To truly be elite in this league, separate yourself, you have to have that mid-range game. You know, all the best players do. It's probably his best shot. Unbelievable. Fox with 20 in the fourth. Shot game clock down to four. Fox penetration. Fox layup. Yes! De'Aaron Fox! And once again, the Kings outlast the Jazz in a heartbreaker. 117, 115 as De'Aaron Fox with 22 in the fourth, including the game winner with .4 to go. We're all growing and we're all learning together. And uh, he and Domas is at the forefront of it because he's an all-star and he's playing at an all-star level for us. I feel like we complement each other, and, uh, and honestly, we're still getting better working with one another as well. Right, but we're seeing that, the product of that building together on the floor right now. I've been very fortunate to, to have some really great people in my corner. The Kings and GM Monty McNair have agreed to a contract extension. 